I want to give a quick explanation of the law of large numbers. I'm going to go ahead and give you my uh, own version of the definition. Law of num large numbers is this. If you run many trials in a simulation or experiment, the empirical probability will get closer and closer to the actual or theoretical probability of the event. Now there's two types of probability that I want to discuss very quickly here. Empirical probability is basically relative frequency for, for an experiment or an, a, a simulation that you may do. So if you repeat something over and over and over again and you are finding the relative frequency of that event happening, that's called empirical probability. It comes from a simulation or an experiment. Whereas theoretical probability is based off of a theory. It's, a, it's based off of, this is basically the traditional probability that you are probably used to studying. So uh, let's, let's refer to flipping a coin. Now if I flip a coin multiple times, um, I'm going to get a certain amount of results. I'm going to go ahead and flip this coin ten times. So I flip and I, go, I have tails, heads, 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 tails. So let me record those five. It was tails first. Try that again. Here we go. Tails, heads, 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 and then tails. Now let's go ahead and flip it five more times and get to, to get ten results all the time altogether. So now I've got tails, tails, heads, heads, heads. So let's record those. Tails, tails, heads, heads, heads. All right, so if I look at this, the empirical probability of flipping heads is one, two, three, four, five, six. The empirical probability is six out of ten, or sixty percent. Um, now we know that the theoretical probability of flipping heads is 0 0.5. It's one half, one out of two. So the law of large numbers says that if I run this simulation many times, if I, if I go with many trials, then I will get an empirical probability that's close to the theoretical probability. Well, ten trials is not many, many times. I would need to flip a coin hundreds and thousands of times, and if I do that, that is going to give me just about a 50-50 split. That's what the law of large numbers says. Let me give you another example, rolling, the di rolling dice. Now, we all know that if I roll dice, the probability of rolling a 1 is 1 out of 6. The probability of rolling a 2 is 1 out of 6. The probability of rolling a 3 is 1 out of 6. In fact, all of the probabilities for just rolling a die and getting one of each of these numbers is 1 out of 6. So they're all equal to each other. So if I start to roll a die here, let's roll a die 6 times and see what happens. I get a 6, and then a 1, and then a 3, and then a 1 again, a 2, one more time, and a 1. I got 1 three times, so the empirical probability of rolling a 1 was 3 out of 6. But we know that 3 out of 6 is not the probability of rolling a 1 when I'm rolling just one die. Okay, it's 1 out of 6, the theoretical. So how can I get the empirical probability to match up or get close to the theoretical probability? I have to run the simulation many, many, many times. It's called the law of large numbers. So let me pull up a little applet here. This is an app that, uh, an online app that, that simulates rolling dice. So if I roll a die one time, I get a 3. If I roll it again, I get a 4. I roll again, I get a 5. I roll again, I get another 5. I roll again, I get a 6. I roll again, I get a 2. Now, I want to do this many times. Well, the computer here is going to simulate 10,000 rolls all with one click. Here we go. 1, 2, 3. There it is, 10,000 rolls. Now, you can see that the, the, I didn't get the exact same number of 1s and 2s and 3s and 4s and 5s. There's a little bit of a difference when you look at the different heights of the bars, but if I simulate 10,000 more rolls and 10,000 more and 10,000 more and 10,000 more, if I continue to do this, I'm basically saying that with many, many, many trials, the law of large numbers, the theoretical probability or the empirical probability will get closer to the theoretical probability. So there's just a brief explanation of the law of large numbers.